What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss again about the iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak for 32-bit devices that can be released soon. So I'm going to show you another new source and he actually posted something on the uh, GitHub. So let's get involved. I'm going to show you, apparently we got um, a new possible jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5 for 32-bit devices only from a very peculiar and unexpected source. A random guy here on GitHub has posted this, I think, uh, yeah, two days ago, and uh, I got on Twitter and somebody told me, uh, you know, George, somebody posted something related to a 9.3.5 jailbreak. Can you please analyze and tell me if it's safe? Well, I decided at first to look into what he posted. So he posted an IPA. It says fixed CDI impactor signing issue in here. And then he posted a couple of projects. It's an, it's an, uh, an Xcode project and some kind of UI tests. So I decided to read a, a little bit on it. So this will be open source, as you can see. And looking in here, it says that this is a 32-bit only semi-tethered jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5, but the exploit is not yet included, so the UI is the only part that's working right now, and he stressed it with the capital letters. It's already supporting iPhone 4S, and it's planned to have support for all 32-bit devices on iOS 9.3.5 with that build number. Now, do not open any issue for any silly reasons, it will just just be closed. Please don't steal code, it says. Okay, we're not going to. So, uh, looking a little bit on the project itself, it's apparently a uh, source code for a really startup of a jailbreak, but it's only for the interface of it. Now, I never heard about this person before being in the jailbreak community or involved in anything, so I decided to look on his uh, repositories in here. And it didn't really help. Apparently, his only contributions on GitHub are not helping a lot to understand his jailbreak background in here. So as you can see, his um, projects are all made this week and therefore Instagram fixes on iOS. Now, um, I don't know if this guy is fake or, he's, or if it's legit. I was just brought up with this thing. So I decided to analyze it and uh, tell you about it before people start to find this link and before people will start downloading IPAs without knowing what they are. Now, I do not recommend you to download this IPA for the moment. Uh, even though you would probably would like to jailbreak your device, this, this is still not a jailbreak. He stressed it enough in here saying that the exploit is not yet included. Probably he will include it later. I don't know. I have no idea. And... Um, yeah, try, try not to open a uh, an IPA that you, you do not know for the moment. I haven't seen anything on Twitter about this guy, Brand, Brando1235703, and uh, I do not know if he has any background activity on jailbreaking and how he uh, jumped up from uh, Instagram fixes to a 9.3.5 full-fledged jailbreak, but apparently he did. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to inform you about a possible jailbreak break because just because we never heard about this guy before doesn't mean he is um he's fake or doesn't mean he is uh, definitely not going to make a full jailbreak. Uh, if you remember, Home Depot at wall.supplies is a jailbreak for iOS 9.2 to 9.3.4 for 32-bit devices, in case you don't know about it, that is actually completely working and that actually appeared out of the blue, out of nowhere, we just got it on this website. So uh, just because we never heard about somebody doesn't mean he uh, cannot make a full jailbreak. Now, I appreciate he started with a GitHub repository, which means that this will be open sourced, as you can see from the project in here. And uh, I'm waiting to see if he is going to post the exploit so that we can uh, watch onto what is going on. Now, an iOS 9.3.5 jailbreak would mean that it's not going to be based on the Trident exploit this uh, jailbreak Home Depot is using because the Trident or Pegasus exploit has been patched or chain of exploits were patched on iOS 9.3.5. So this guy has to use another exploit, something that is not public, probably some zero day. So 
if this is real or if this is um, actually going to happen, this will be a pretty interesting jailbreak for the 32-bit devices. As you can see, he said that it's already supporting the iPhone 4S. Now, basically, iPhone 4S, it's stuck with the iOS 9.3.5 being the latest version for it. So, um, yeah, that would be pretty cool. I'm... Um, I, really, I can't really tell anything about this guy for the moment, as I said, I can't find anything about him or his background, but it looks promising, uh, considering the fact that he decided to open source whatever he want, he, he wants to, to try. We're going to see, I'm going to keep you informed if anything gets released from this guy, but if you come across this, I wanted just to make sure that if you come across this website or this particular file that I have in here or this IPA to know what it, it, it is about and to know that we do not trust it for the moment up until it happens or up until it confirms to be uh, real. So yeah, this is basically it guys. I really hope you understood my point in here. Really wanted to keep you informed on what happens and about this guy just in case you come uh, come across it on the internet and you do not know about it. Definitely do not install the IPA for the moment. I do not trust IPAs pre-compiled even though the source code is public. And uh, yeah, it would be useless for the moment as it's only the UI as he said. So give this guy the time try to uh, start up this page and try to see if it gets modify, modified some, uh, somehow or if he adds comments. As you can see, he added 18 comments to the, um, to the actual project, so I think he might be doing something. I do not know, but hopefully he will. Now, if you're interested in how a jailbreak works or if you're interested in how exploits works, I uh, published a video just a couple of minutes ago on how OS 6 iOS, uh, sorry, OS 6 10.11.6 root exploit works and we have a uh, root exploit in there and I tested and I showed you exactly how it works, what it attacks and so on. So be sure to check this video out, it's in the description down here and also I have an entire playlist on reverse engineering and how jailbreaking works. If you want to check it out you are free to do so. So yeah, if you come across this uh, link in here be sure to uh, Pay attention to it in case it gets changed or in case it gets really pushed up as a full-fledged jailbreak. But for the moment, try to consider it just another, uh, I don't know, attempt from somebody. I really wanted to make these things clear because I got asked on Twitter a lot about that thing. So, yeah, this is pretty much it. Do not forget, subscribe to stay updated. Check out the links in the description down below and peace out.